Okay, we've now narrowed down our topic to something we really want to do and even got it more narrowed down to the point where we can actually have a focus. Because what we need to do is now make some questions to focus our, our search. Those questions are just burning interests that we have or things that we notice um, uh, about our topic, our newly narrowed down topic. So what I have here is this is uh, the gathering grid. And I have the original gathering grid. Um, and it's in your practice new te techniques folders. But all you have to do is click in your search engine in Google Docs and just type in gathering grid. And when that pops up, it will look like so. And with this, I want you to make a copy of it. And just to refresh your memory, you go to File, Make a Copy. And once that happens, you are going to rename it your normal initials grade gathering grid. And then you can put it in your report folder. Now I've done this already, and I named mine practice gathering grid because that's what we're doing today is we're practicing. All right, so this is the same exact thing, and the only thing that's different is I have narrowed down my topic from yesterday from the Underground Railroad to the Underground Railroad route. And a route is the path that they took and things on that. But I, I have some curiosities, and I need to have three questions or more. And what this document is, is wh what you're going to do, actually, is when you find a valuable source, you're going to put your source in this box and whether it's a website uh, a link from the Vermont Online Library anything something that is going to let you know where to go back to when you want to cite your information or just find new stuff so for instance if I have a question one and I found the answer on source one I'd put the answers in this box but if I have question one and I found the answers from source two I put it in the middle box and at any point if you need more sources you need something else you can simply make a new column down below or you can make a new gra gathering grade you can have two and either way would be fine with me as long as you guys are keeping track of um, your sources and the answers to your questions alright so let's let's begin if you look at your introduction it says you need a description for your audience and the the best way to do that is to really think about um, do, does my audience even know what the Underground Railroad is or what my topic is so in your introduction that'd be a good time to just give a brief what it is what is it so I'm gonna put in here what is the Underground Railroad and what I'm gonna do is keep keep this um, keep this topic and then I might have another a guider for me what is the Underground Railroad and then I want to put in there at least something about the route um, so that way they have a sense now yesterday I said we could use Wikipedia only if we triangulate the source and that was one of our skills from the search techniques um, however, we can use it for ideas. If I look here, it says the route, and I have traveling conditions, terminology, and folklore. Well, right there, I have three questions that I could use. So I'm thinking right now, my question for my body, body one, might be, what were the traveling conditions like? Okay, once I've done that, I can go and try to find answers for it. And I can find answers um, in, on my, like I said before, on Google, or I can find uh, answers in, on the, in a book, on the Vermont Online Library, etc. So I've typed in, in my Google search, Underground Railroad Route. And when I get, I notice um, some bicycle routes. And that's not really, that's more or less tourism right now that's like to take the path of the Underground Railroad and that's not something I want so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say minus bicycle and that will give me the results 
with nothing with bi bicycle in it, and that's a good thing for us right now. So we're looking for information that would help us about the, let's remember, traveling conditions. But if I look at my search, I'm just looking at Underground Railroad routes minus bicycle. So I might want Underground Railroad traveling travel conditions. Now, I know we talked about keywords and keeping them down to three, but sometimes you need four, uh, and that's okay. So we can look around and see if we have any information. We have some information from a New World Encyclopedia. When you have the word encyclopedia in one of your websites, that's a decent thing. So if we look at this, we might find some information. This looks very similar to a website we've seen before, and that, that of Wikipedia if you look at the contents. So we have, oh, look at that, we have traveling conditions. Um, so although sometimes if we read some of this, we can find some of our information. And given that we're not going to be using this exact words in our, in our, um, our actual report, we're going to paraphrase some of what this says, and we'll get into what paraphrasing is in a little bit. So we're going to look, and do we see anything? Okay, primary means of transportation were on foot or a wagon. So I'm thinking that that might be a good answer to put in my, and I got it from New World Encyclopedia. So I'm going to copy the website. I'm going to go to my grid, and I am going to, for source one, instead of putting that entire web address in there, I'm going to highlight source one. I'm going to control K. And it brings up the screen for URL. You can link something. And then I'm going to control V to paste that link that I just copied. And now, instead of having my entire box taken up with that this long URL, I simply have a quick link, a hyperlink. And I can click on that when I want to get to my source. All right, so my question one, I found some information that it said travel by foot or wagon. And you notice I didn't use complete sentences because this is a grid. This is kind of like a graphic organizer where you don't have to use complete sentences. It's one of those other times um, in writing where complete sentences are not necessary at the time. All right, so this is your gathering grid. So your job now is to go and find, start, just to start. Take your topic that you narrowed down last night and plug it into this grid. And then I want you to go and search and just start. Find one question that you could have and one source just as a practice and we'll work more on this in class when you come in and be sure to ask any questions when you need to. Alright, good luck.